Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Navin. All right, so for this week, I'm a little bit excited since um, we actually ordered a special dish, um, which is some part in north of Malaysia. Okay, it's going to be makan ke latte. All right, so we have ordered this food from a particular restaurant called Nasi Kerabu Ayam Madu North Kiara. I know, right? It's a freaking long name. All right, they are located in uh, Bukit Sagambut and they specialize only in two dishes, like two main dishes. And then, uh, but with the main dishes, uh, you can choose your meat, uh, what kind of meat do you want. Uh, they have, uh, for Nasi Kramu, they have the uh, Ayam Kampung Madu, and they have Ayam Perche, they have Rumpa Fried Chicken, and another one is like Barbecue Madu, something like that. But it's all chicken based, but it's just different kind of uh, sauce and Favorites kind of stuff. The next one they have is nasi dagang. So nasi dagang, they have um, a very few meat choices. They have uh, ite, uh, which is going to be like a duck, and then they have uh, chicken curry, and they have this special thing uh, ikan dango dango curry. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, so. It's kind of funny that it doesn't get into my mouth. So, uh, but today um, we have ordered two dishes. I uh, decided to try on two meat choices. Uh, we have ordered the nasi kerabu uh, ayam kampung madu, and we have ordered that nasi dagang with um, ite keruto. All right, if that's keruto, yeah, that's how I'm spelling it right. So, pronouncing it right, I'm sorry. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my dishes, and then we can talk more about the food to you guys. Thank you. Alright, I'm back guys and I've brought the food to show you guys, alright? So, as I've already mentioned previously, I've ordered nasi krabu, uh, ayam kampung madu and going to be nasi dagang uh, ite keruto. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the nasi krabu since because I really love nasi krabu. It's a very uh, famous dish in uh, Kelantan. And I'm going to put the nasi dagang inside. Okay, so let me just introduce you guys to what I'm doing. So this is called pulam. Uh, it's basically salads. It have uh, cabbage, carrots, and I, I really don't know why this purple color kind of uh, cabbage called again. But yeah, so they're just all mixed and they have some other herbs inside of it. All right, and then we have sambal belacan. This is the most famous dish in Southeast Asia. We do not go by eating this kind of food without some of All right, so I'm going to keep that aside. And this is the main dish. Okay, so ta -da, ta -da. All right, okay. So if you guys can take a look, that is going to be the ayam kampong madu. And yeah, I know you. What you guys might want to get is blue in color. All right, so this is the blue rice. If you can take a look. Um, sorry, and this is going to be uh, grind coconuts, okay, and actually that's about it, that one. grind coconuts, uh, blue rice, and uh, chicken. So, if you're wondering how the blue rice is made, it's made of, uh, from that blue butterfly pea flower, okay, in the lake, it's called bunga thalam. So, alright, so uh, that's what it's made of with the rice, and how do you eat them? It's something unique, you've got to mix all of them together. I'm not a fan of salads, but let's go ahead and do the tradition. I'm not going to use much of the salad, so I'm just going to use a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'm going to just show you that a bit. Okay, and a little bit of some of the I like heat unboxing things with all of that. So I'm just gonna just pour a little bit. Okay. Put that aside again. Thank you, go to the side. Okay. I know you must be wearing nothing, it's supposed to be eaten with your hands. But I just want to get this messy, I want to eat with that as well. So I'm just gonna mix it up a bit. If you guys can take a look. Okay. So, if you're wondering if the blue rice had any peculiar taste, no, it does not. It just tastes like normal rice. I think it's different. Okay. 
different places, okay? So let's go ahead and try the first slide. Mm. Oh wow. The stumble button is on point. It has a really good um, sourness to it. It has a nice amount of spiciness. And this coconut stuff is really nice. It's great at coconut, right? I really love it. It's really nice. So let's go ahead and try with the chicken. So this is ayam kampong. The meat is supposed to be a little bit more harder. All right. See, um, this is what it is. It, it has to be tasting sweet, madu, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, sorry guys. Mmm. <laughs> oh wow. It's really, really good. I love it. I really love it. I'm gonna mix all of them together. All right. You guys can take a look. I have put in some rice, the salad, and um, you guys want some? Nah. Mm. It's really nice. And this dish, I'm so sorry, I'm still eating. It's too good. But I'm wondering how much of this costs. It's just uh, 14 ringgit. Um, I feel it's a little bit a little bit pricier than what I could get outside. So I could get outside something with uh, the same dish with more gravy and um, a bit more like meat. It's gonna cost me less than 10 ringgit. But things like it's more authentic because of the chicken it's because of me like about 40 ringgit so that's okay good the package was pretty fine and uh, if you want me um, if you ask me what would the rating be I'll get 4 out of 5 you might wonder why not 5 out of 5 is because it's 14 bucks I could get 2 nasi kramus for the same price so why get 1 right Alright, so um, I'm done with this. I don't want to fill my stomach up to that uh, another dish to go, to go ahead and try. I'm going to put this aside. Okay. Alright. Alright, so this is my second dish for the day. Uh, I think you guys have been wondering, I'm such a foodie. Yeah. I love food and I love to eat them a lot. So, uh, I wonder why that this size. So, so um, okay. So this is nasi dagang ite. Kuruto. It's uh, I've not tried this dish before. It's the first time, so uh, I'm not sure. let's go ahead and try what it is. And this is a special sauce they gave for me with the rice. All right. So I'm open the rice dish. Let's see what we got. Okay. So oh, okay, cool. So if you guys can take a look. Oh, sorry. All right. Um, it's brown rice, but it's, they still have that coconut fried, uh, coconut um, shredded stuff. And the thing is that they have an egg, but this egg, okay, I thought it was going to be a uh, salted egg. But it's not salted egg, it looks pretty normal to me. So generally they give a good salted egg for nasi dagang. Alright, and let's see what's on the sauce. It's, uh, it has a strong smell. I'm not sure what it is in the way, but... Oh, it's pretty sweet. Um, it's sweet and a bit... It tastes somewhat like a chicken broth. But it's really sweet and nice. And last but not least is this. Okay. Ignore the oil level. Alright? You guys can take a look. It's pretty oily. Um, yeah, there's like one centimeter of oil on top of the cream. Okay, but you gotta mix it up and maybe you can not see the oil after that. You just mix it up probably. Okay? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, 
I'm going to mix all of them together. Okay, I'm going to show it to you once again. I'm going to have a new palette. Okay, this duck. And I'm going to have this salt as well. I'm going to pour it together. Okay. All right. And let me just try the egg because I'm pretty curious whether it's going to be. Okay, so this is going to be salted egg. Let me just go ahead and try the it is salted egg. Okay. No, it's not. It's just normal egg. Because they promised me that I would have a salted egg with nasi dagang, but never mind. Take a look. This is the duck. Uh, duck meats are also almost similar to ayam kampung, which is pretty hard. But not bad, it's pretty tender. If I can feel the tenderness in it. Okay. I'm going to mix it all together. Okay, so you can see the normal rice. Um, you can there's uh, the coconut, shrimp, all the sauce, and even the duck in itself. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try it. It's just too good. I love it. I love it. It has a nice amount of sweetness. It's not spicy. It's uh, oily, and uh, the duck is so so tender. Like generally, you do not get duck this tender. Uh, yeah, I don't get it that tender, but it's really nice. Like I love such kind of food. Like I lean towards more towards things which are more sweet. Uh, I'm not sure that's my preference. So I just love it sweet. So. Oh man, this is so good. Okay. And this particular dish, it cost me about 12 ringgit. Uh, and again, this is the amount of meat you get. Uh, about two, two chunks. And then uh, you get almost this amount of rice and sauce. If you ask me, it's worth the price. Maybe they could have given us a bit more extra meat or with an additional, a bit more rice because I, I feel it's kind of less amount so for the price but then again, for the taste, it's 5 out of 5 I would give this, it tastes much better than nasi kurma so I love it, okay <clears throat> and as I've already told you guys uh, this restaurant do have other dishes along with it if, if you don't like duck, you can go ahead with other choices they have uh, chicken curry and another one is that Ikan uh, Tango Curry. So it's a special dish from Kelantan. Uh, if you want to try it, you can go ahead. Uh, maybe the next time around, I will try to order that Ikan and fish and see how it tastes. Alright, so <clears throat> I really want to eat this, but I gotta finish the video. So um, if you're asking me, does this restaurant get a big bang from us? Do you really think it'll get a big bang? Yeah, of course, Jeff. Of course. It will! Oh, okay, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, if you guys love the food, um, we will just put the restaurant's name below. Go ahead and try them out. It's wonderful. And uh, just go and buy the food. Alright? Yeah. Alright. So do not oh, forget to subscribe, like, and do share our videos. Um, please do give us a support. and. If you feel that we should try something particularly unique in KL that you want us to try, go ahead and comment below and we will try to order that food and do a review on it so that it will be much more easier for the other side. Alright, that's it for now. Signing off, I need to get back to eating. Adios.